Let's talk about another really cool, unique feature in Apache Iceberg, and that is hidden partitioning. Now, in this particular feature, what happens is, well, honestly, the best way to understand this is kind of understand how it used to work. So again, partitioning allows us to segregate uh, the data and the tables into separate sort of files and folders. So that way, I only have to scan that if my query patterns kind of lean into that. So another example would be, imagine uh, a political party. They're probably going to want to, they have candidates in different states. So in that case, they might want to partition their voter data by state. So in that case, if I only want to look up voters in Wisconsin, that data is physically segregated, so it'll quickly just scan the Wisconsin data separate from the Florida data, the, the Ohio data, etc. So that's all fine and good. Now, a, a very typical partitioning pattern is to partition stuff by date because you might have information that's coming in that's more time sensitive. So things like sales. Okay, so in that case, usually when you think about sales, you're thinking about, hey, what's the sales for the last quarter? What's the sales for the last day? What's the sales for the last month? So you're thinking more about it in sort of oftentimes a, a time series type fashion. So you might want to partition the data by month. So that way, hey, if I only want to go grab the sales for the last month, I'm not scanning all the data, just that last month's of data, and that's going to be a lot faster. Now, in the old days, what happens, the partitioning had to be done by the raw value of a column. So that means a timestamp, so usually you would have a timestamp column that's the timestamp of that sale. That's not going to be good enough because if you have like real granular timestamps, like seconds and milliseconds, it's going to create a whole separate partition for every millisecond. Okay, and that's, or nanosecond, or, you know, again, depending on the granularity. That's too many partitions. And again, if you have a full table scan, that's just going to make for a really slow table if you ever need to scan everything, or multiple partitions. Okay, um, so what you would do is you would generally add another column. So in this case, see, we added this column called month. And then you would partition by that month column. So as a data engineer, every time you ingested the data, you would have to make sure that you take, you take this extra step of taking the timestamp for every record and converting it into a month value, like one through 12. And then you would partition based on that value. So basically there's an extra step you'd have to take in one, making that partitioning happen as a data engineer. So it's harder to execute as a data engineer, but as a data analyst, you also had this additional problem where you would say, Hey, you naturally would scan based on the timestamp because you know, that represents the time that you want to scan for. So you say, Hey, where the timestamp equals between this time and this time. But you, that would not naturally like take advantage of the partitioning because far as the systems of those of that day knew that it's partitioned by month, not by the timestamp. So the timestamp filter isn't enough. You would have to add an additional filter specifying that month filter to get the benefit of partitioning. So even though technically doesn't this cover one through month four, right? Like that's kind of like kind of explicit in the timestamp you'd still have to do this extra filter to get the benefit of partitioning, which again, isn't very intuitive. We would require the analyst to be aware of how the table's partitioned. So have to be aware of the physical structure of the table. Um, overall, again, harder to execute as a data engineer, harder to, to take advantage of as an analyst, resulting in sometimes um, partitioning schemes that were executed incorrectly, resulting in slow scans, or uh, meaning you have to later on rewrite the table because again, you couldn't just evolve the partitioning into a full accidental full table scans because you forgot the additional filter. And again, all this additional work means more money because you're spending more compute, more storage, all the whole. So it's overall more expensive, harder, more complicated. Now with Apache Iceberg, you have hidden partitioning. So in this case, if I want to partition by month, in Apache Iceberg's metadata, you can actually express not just which value are you partitioning by, but you can specify a transform. So that way it's, part it's not partitioned based on the raw value, but the transformed value. And the metadata has the information for the engines to be aware of this. So you see here, I can say, hey, you know what? I only wanna have these three columns and I wanna partition based on the timestamp column, but based on a month interval. This gives me two benefits. One, much easier. I'm not, And then plus when I create data, I don't have to create an extra month column. So this is also gonna reduce the amount of storage I have because I'm now not storing a fourth column in every parquet file, but instead in the metadata, it will then trans when it create, when it, when it uh, calculates the ranges of values, it'll calculate the ranges of the transformed value to easily filter, um, which files or, you know, basically the, the partitioning logic. So 
very much easier from the data engineering point of view because I can just say, hey, I just this month's based on this timestamp. I don't have to worry about when I ingest the data. I just ingest the data as the timestamps as they are. I don't have to transform them. It just works. And then from the data analyst point of view, they can just do what naturally would have come to them and they would have filtered by the timestamp and they don't need any additional clauses. And because the metadata says, hey, the partition is a function of the, of the timestamp field, the engine will know, yes, let's go take a look at the partitioning, take advantage, run those partition filters and go from there and give you that faster query. So it's an easier, it creates an easier ergonomics of partitioning for the data engineer and the data analyst. Now, keep in mind, there is a similar feature in other table formats, but they oftentimes still require you to have that additional column. Um, so in that case, you are still, you're not getting that, that storage savings. And oftentimes the ergonomics are still not as simple as this. So, um, and the cool thing is you get a lot of cool transforms here. So you have, you know, you have the timestamp ones, but you also have truncate. So if I wanted to like, just do like the first letter of a name, or you can do bucket. If I just wanted to split up the data and hash it over an arbitrary number of buckets, um, there's a lot of different options on how you can handle your partitioning in Apache Iceberg, but it's generally overall going to give you such a much easier ergonomics in doing so. So I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.